The Bethune Medical Development Association was started after 10 years of our experience going to China. Usually doing surgery, and because I'm a heart surgeon, we did heart surgery, and we did them on the, uh, as many patients as we could, then we left town. And nothing much changed about, except for those patients that were, were there, who we operated upon. After a number of years doing that, we just evolved into something a bit different. Three of us, Yuan, uh, David Dai, two percussionists who worked with me in the heart surgical operating room, and myself started the Bethune Medical Development Association, thinking that when we get organized, we'll get a little more breadth and hopefully depth over time. That was in 2010, we had three people. In 2020, we have 400. 400 people in China, Canada, the United States, England, Australia. We've been to over 160 hospitals and universities in China. We take uh, groups of about 30 surgeons every May and, and October, uh, and we divide them up in groups of three or four, and they each visit three or four hospitals, all with the goals of education, service, and leave something sustainable. Now, the sustainability is sometimes develop a relationship. And in those relationships we've developed, that we've developed, we've had over 150 trainees and established practitioners come from China to Canada to um, learn from Canadians. Ultimately, we want the uh, shift to go the other way as well. That our surgeons and trainees go uh, and travel. Now recently, uh, everybody knows about the COVID virus and um, the scourge it's, uh, it's uh, taking in, in China and all over the world. Our, uh, our interest was to go back to China in May, but that's not going to happen. Obviously, we we'll plan again to go in October, but we'll see how things go. But we also thought, we've been there now visiting 160 places, developed a lot of relationships. And in the spirit of Bethune, we wanted to offer something, uh, even if it was a token, that we could offer as a small organization to help the Chinese. And we were thinking, how can we prevent the disease? Uh, well, the N95 masks may help. Uh, our panel may disagree, but the N95 masks we used in SARS. So we decided to donate 10,000 of those masks. Now, 10,000 of those masks is a drop in the bucket, but they're in very short supply. Then we thought, what is it that when those people are dying, is there anything we can do at the end stage? to prevent them from dying. Well, one of the ways, although not successful all the time, it has remarkable success if you do it early enough in the proper indications. And that's a device called an ECMO. ECMO stands for Extracorporeal Membrane Oxygenation. It's basically an artificial lung. So if you place that into the circulation, you can get uh, rest the lung and have it get better rather than have the stresses and strains of, of uh, the, breath, the breathing and even on the, being on the ventilator being a problem. So how are we going to get ECMO machines? They're very expensive and they also uh, need disposables which are in short supply around the, around the world. We were able to convince the companies to give us the three demonstrator machines, which are in perfectly new condition for half price. And we're thankful for them for providing that. In addition to that, we got the availability of 100 disposables, so we were able to able ultimately and potentially save 100 lives by being able to uh, institute the ECMO on people 
who are on end-stage uh, respiratory failure or who have, uh, or have this issue of uh, not being able to be uh, in any way uh, come to a cure. So one of the issues about that is how we're a nonprofit organization with uh, uh, a shoestring budget. How are we going to uh, deal with that? Well, uh, we sat with a cup of coffee and thought, uh, we, we don't know, we've never raised money before for the Bethune Medical Development. And global surgery sometimes has a difficult time raising money for people in far off lands. But this is a problem that potentially affects us all. So I wrote a letter and I put it on WeChat, who all of you will know what WeChat is. Maybe some of the panel don't know WeChat, but WeChat I think is the most effective and easy to use communication device that there is. Well, we put it on a week Thursday and we've had uh, almost 400 donations and raised more than $200,000 for this. And I know some of the participants in that raising the money are in the audience and like to thank you and we'll thank you later as well for that. So our panelists here to discuss and educate about the COVID virus uh, are all from the U of T. Uh, the, and the first, I'll introduce them as they're they present, the first is Dr. Ming Yao, who's head of, basically head of research at the medical uh, faculty at the University of Toronto. And he is a member of the Bethune Medical Development Association as well, traveled with us many times to China. And it, his training has been in respirology and, and uh, lung disease. And he's gonna take us through ARDS, SARS, and now COVID-19, a historical perspective of giving us the, uh, an idea of uh, how things change and how things are the same. So thank you.